I'm waiting for Allie to get back now. I'm getting more and more excited as time goes by because she's getting her hair cut and I'm she hasn't let me in on too much so I don't know exactly what to expect I know she's going short so we'll see what happens but I'm really excited I know she's gonna look great she should be back here I mean I hope within an hour or so but I'm just having a good outdoor session with pig and zippity doo dah zipper dog so patiently waiting we'll see what Allie gets here okay guys here comes Allie oh here she comes She's coming, I'm gonna go out to the backyard for the big reveal. I hope she's happy with it. I know I'll be happy. I think she looks great no matter what. How about that vlog? I'm in the backyard for the big reveal. Okay guys, you ready? I gotta put my crutches down for this. Here she comes, big reveal. It's happening right now, live on the vlog. First live, first react. It hardly fits in a ponytail. <laughs> Oh man. It's so I like short. It. No, I hate it. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's see it. No, it's so bad. Come I'm on. Babe, really it's a totally new look. It, it, it's so it's a, it short. It looks fine. It's so short. Let me see. Did you go? You, you, it looks, it's totally a different look, but it looks fine. Well, you said you hated it. No, it's I not, do not like it. Well, luckily, Our hair grows. Luckily, here goes. Well, you could. <laughs> it's, it's different. It's different. <laughs> you don't like it, do you? No, I, I, I this like it no matter what. This doesn't even fit in a pony. I think you'll look good if you if you don't like it that way. I think you can just put it in a tail, you know, a little ponytail, up, like a high ponytail. T yeah, like something like that. If you don't, I think that looks great. Okay. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> What do you guys think of I've Allie's never hair? had hair this short, like literally ever in well, my now life. You do. Now you can cross that off the list. Guys, leave a comment below. <laughs> it's a new Oops. look, it's a unique look, and we've got a lot of changes coming. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's gonna grow. Kiss, kiss. You Smash still, that like button, guys. <laughs> you still love me? Yes, I do. Okay. I think it looks great. <laughs> oh my god. It's a change. It smells really good. Well. Show us the back, show us the back. You're using the vlogging camera as a mirror, huh? Yeah. Turn around, turn oh around. Oh my gosh. I, it looks great. It's a new look. It's a different look. It just takes a while. <laughs> if you want to see a bad haircut, look no further. I think yours looks good. <laughs> I don't. Trust me. I'm the king of bad haircuts. <laughs> I've lived with a terrible haircut for like a year now, so. <laughs> Well, my curls were not cooperating and I needed a change. Yeah. And maybe this will help them grow out healthy and Yeah. It'll take I'm me sure two the years van to fam get them back that gonna, length again. I'm sure the van fam's gonna leave nice comments. You guys are very supportive and sweet. <laughs> Hello Van Fam, good day. We are going to do a really special unboxing. Huck, not now, pal, not now. We've been talking this up, we're really excited. I hope my mouth looks normal because I just had a dental appointment and I am numb for three cavity fillings. Small ones, tiny ones. Without further ado, let's get on to our unboxing of a really special product. I'm not gonna say the name of it until we actually pull it out of the box and show you guys. Guys, Dan scored some serious points with me on this one because, well, I'll have him tell you why. This is a really, really exciting product. And while this is a paid promotion, this is something that when I saw it, I was like, A, this is gonna score me major points with Allie, and B, this is just such a cool product that I think I just had to see what it was all about. So we definitely wanna give a shout out to the company we're working with on this one. Okay, I'm not gonna show you guys that yet. All right, guys, ready? Let's do it. Woo! <laughs> okay, so you guys probably don't know what this is yet, unless you're a freaking a genius. But this is a zero. This is a zero breeze Mark II portable air conditioner, battery operated. Super cool. Yay! So we want to give a big shout out to Zero Breeze. We are so stoked to have the opportunity to work with them. We're going to go over this thing with you guys. 
um, because we are going to use this all summer long on our East Coast road trip for sure. So there's tons of cool features about this, but one of the best features is that it's entirely solar power operated, battery operated, or can run off your car's um, battery. So that's one thing that we really, really needed. So this is the battery that we're gonna use on the bottom of this thing to power it while we're in the van. And we can have this on the bed, we can have this on the counter, we can have this by the door, and it really is gonna not make any difference where we keep this bad boy. Okay guys, this thing is 16.5 pounds, so it's super lightweight, and you can definitely tell. I'm just installing it onto the battery now. This thing is a third of the weight of most standard AC units that you see um, on vehicles. Okay, so now we're gonna plug this thing into the wall. It's battery powered, but while we charge the battery, we're gonna use the wall plug-in, which we can also use with our onboard electrical system or our, um, what do we call that thing? Power station, our power station that we got. That you guys have seen plenty on the channel. So let's go plug it in and then maybe we'll install the tubing. And you don't even need to use this, I read. So it's just an option, which is really cool. plug it in and then we're going to have our first power up uh, just to the top one, the top unit. Right. We'll have to charge the battery separately. The battery option on this is so cool. Okay, babe. You ready to do the honors? Oh, yeah. Rocket. It's taking off. Rocket. Woo! I can feel it. Oh, oh and it's that's on the lowest so setting. nice. It's on the lowest setting. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. So this can bring a room down 30 degrees Fahrenheit. It can oh drop the temperature goodness. 30 degrees Fahrenheit. That's one of the key features that we wanted to mention to you guys. So you have no idea how much I hate the heat. I... This is perfect for this the van. Is amazing. All right, let's turn that up. Turn that up. Oh my goodness. I'm actually getting goosebumps. You're getting goosebumps. <laughs> You're a goosebumps. silly goose. Woo! We're gonna need to cool this room down after your hot new haircut. <laughs> Smash the like button, guys. Rocket, which means strong mode. If you really like, right when you get back to the van, if you really oh, want to cool it down. What's that mode? The snowflake is cool mode. I just hit that on, and it just dropped 10 degrees. It's shooting out at 50 oh, degrees wow. right now, and it's not even. It's not even all the way up. Oh, I'm cold. But I think the coolest part is that there's a sleep mode because. Oh my gosh! Sorry. I keep interrupting Allie, but this thing is just blowing my mind. Freezing. Are you getting cold? It's freezing. <laughs> I'll go back to rocket mode. There we go. Or just fan. All right, I'll turn it down for you. So there's a sleep mode, which will just kind of remain a cool temperature all night long, and it doesn't run too much battery, or it doesn't use too much um, power. So that's pretty awesome. Love that. It's actually it really quiet. Light. 
Oh, that's cool. Well, it's really like quiet. It. I mean, I could easily sleep with this. You wear earplugs, so you could hopefully sleep with it. I'm all natural, but uh, <laughs> no big deal. And I definitely could sleep with this. So this gray plug is for when we have a electrical socket to plug it into, whether it's in a house or in the van. And then what we can do is use the same gray cord to charge the battery unit. And that takes about five to six hours to fully charge this battery unit. And then when we just want to use battery, we just plug them in together with this black one. Pretty simple. Super convenient. How convenient is a remote control? <laughs> You don't even have From to. From bed. I don't even have to get out to cool you down. From bed. You don't even have to get out and get your crutches to get yourself down there. Low blow, but very ah. true. And a big time saver for a guy on crutches. <laughs> oh. Wow. Because we have plenty of space in the back of our van in the garage, we do not actually need any of this um, exhaust hoses or anything attached to it. We could do this if we were just going to be using it in like a apartment or something like that and if the van had less space we might want to consider installing it but we don't need it at this stage this tube though however we do need this just plugs right into the back of it and because it is creating cool air and taking water out of the air it will we will need to get like a bottle just any sort of bottle and have it drip into there and empty that i'm not sure yet probably Depends how much we're using it, but Can't yeah, much. once every couple of days. So we'll just get like a, a water bottle to put at the end of this and plug this into the back of it and keep an eye on it. My idea is that I'm just gonna secure it to that bench right there. And then we're gonna take off that wooden door so we can cool the cabin. Super cool. It's perfect. Hooray! We are upgrading Helen quite a bit this summer, as you can see, but we're finally taking this coffee machine with us, and I'm so excited. Not just any coffee machine. It is a real fancy espresso machine that makes really good coffees. <laughs> This is going to be an absolute game changer. The only thing we need to test is the power station being able to operate this. Allie thinks even potentially the onboard auxiliary system could pot potentially power the espresso machine, which is crazy. <laughs> so first thing we got to do though is figure out a way to secure it. And we asked you guys on Instagram and we got a ton of good replies. And I think we're going to go with Velcro, right babe? So we're going to try Velcro and I brought it out here and we're actually going to go and drive to test it out because the uh, like attachment points where it sits on the ground are very small. So we can't just like Velcro the whole bottom of it. So basically this is a very small surface area that we're going to be able to Velcro, but I got very strong Velcro. So maybe if it's not filled with water, It'll be okay. Maybe. But we're going to test it out. To be determined. Okay, so I've cut this into four little pieces and I think I'm going to put it on the bot on this first and then peel off the the other side and then stick it down and see how we go. It's really not that heavy of a machine. And then I think what we'll have to do is just add water to it daily or keep it kind of half full instead of full just in case we're like sloshing. Um, and then this obviously still comes out very easily. So far it looks perfect. 
Nice job. Pretty excited. I hope that's it. But we have a little more Velcro that we could always double up if we need to. But I'm feeling pretty confident if we don't drive super rough. So, yeah. Okay, guys, that's it for this episode. We'll see you guys again really soon. Make sure to drop Allie an awesome comment below about her new haircut. We're really, really excited to have the Zero Breeze Mark II on board in its new location. I've got plenty of information in the video description, so you can go check it out. Really, really love this product already. And lastly, when we hit the road in the next couple days, we're gonna give our espresso machine a test. So make sure you're following along, subscribe to the channel, and like this video. We really, really appreciate it. In the next episode, guys, we're gonna be officially on the road. So we'll see you guys really soon. Adios. Thank you.